You've heard of the Magna Charter, as we're signed at the Baron's command, on running Mead Island in the middle of Thames by King John, who were known as Lachlan. Some say it were wrong of the Barons, their will on the King's soul to thrust. But you'll see if you look at both sides of the case that they had to do something or bust. For John, from the moment they crowned him, started acting so cunning and sly. Being king, of course, he couldn't do any wrong. But by gum, he'd a proper good try. He squandered the ratepayers' money. All their cattle and corn did he take till there wasn't a morsel of bread in the land and folks had to manage on cake. It were all right in being a tyrant to vassals and folks of that class, but he tried on his tricks with the barons and all, and that's where he made a folks pass. He started bombarding their castles and burning them over their head till there wasn't enough castles left to go round and they had to sleep six in a bed. So they went to the king in a body, and their spokesman, Fitzwalter by name, he opened the hole in his helmet and said, conciliatory like, what's the game? The king starts to shilly and shally. He sits and he oars and he ums, till the barons in rage started gnashing their teeth and them with no teeth gnashed their gums. Said Fitz, through the hole in his helmet, it were you as put us in this plight, and John, having nothing to say to this here, murmured, leave your address and our right. This angered the gallant Fitz Walter. He stamped on the floor with his foot and was starting to give John a rare ticking off when the hole in his helmet fell shut. We'll get him a magna charter, he said, when his face he had freed. Said the barons, that's right, and if one's not enough, get a couple and happen they'll breed. They set about making a charter. When at finish they'd got it drawn up, it looked like a paper on cattle disease, or the entries for Waterloo Cup. Next day, King John, all unsuspecting, and having the afternoon free, to run in Mead Island had taken a boat and were having some shrimps for his tea. He had just pulled the head off a big un and were pinching its tail with his thumb when up came a barge load of barons who said, we thought you'd be here so we've come. When they told him they'd brought Magna Charter, the king seemed to go kind of limp but minding his manners, he took off his hat and said, thanks very much, have a shrimp. You'd best sign at once, said Fitzwalter. If you don't, I'll tell thee for a start. The next coronation will happen quite soon, and you won't be there to take part. They spread charter out on tea table, and John signed his name like a lamb. His writing in places was sticky and thick, through dipping his pen in the jam. And it's through that there Magna Charter, as were made by the barons of old, that in England today we can do what we like, so long as we do what we're told. <laughs> <laughs>